right. Well, a very happy good morning to you. We're here at Japanese Wikipedia on the page How to Stack Stone Walls. And we are eager to learn how to stack Japanese stone walls. And considering the Japanese proclivity to overcomplicate, I may cite their system of 72 micro seasons compared to China's 24. China has only 24 compared to our four seasons. In light of this, we are relieved to find that there are only three ways to stack Japanese castle stone walls according to the degree of stone processing. Only three ways. Times three classifications by stacking method. Times five classifications by appearance. So only 60 permutations of stone wall. Much better than 72. But today we're going to stick with only three classified by degree of stone processing. Then after this we're going to take a walk around Fukuyama Castle and we will see examples of all three kinds. We'll see them. Uh, can you see them? Yes you can. I promise you can. Sometimes all three in the same stretch of wall. Interesting. So the first type of wall is called nozurazumi. Nozurazumi. It basically means stack them up as you find them. You get your stones and you stack your wall. Disadvantages. Lots of gaps and protuberances equals lots of handholds and toeholds for your climbing enemy. That's not good. But you can fill some of those gaps with what you call interstitial stones. There's some trivia you can impress someone with. Interstitial stones. And you can try to reduce protuberances. And you can get a pretty good hard to climb wall. Advantages Lots of gaps and protuberances equals excellent drainage. And groundwater is, after all, the number one enemy of stone walls. It never lets up. You don't need drainage ports, which are expensive and another strategic weakness. Also, these walls are highly resistant to earthquakes, the most resistant. All those gaps are cushions, cushions for give and take and readjustment and settling in, the way you readjust yourself and settle into your couch at night with a bottle of screech. This example here is from Matsuzaka Castle. Part of your assignment will be to find examples in Fukuyama Castle, coming up. Second type, Uchikomi Hagi, which I translate driven joint. Driven joint. You chisel the corners of your stones and the outer facing surfaces to reduce we're not eliminating, but we are reducing gaps and protuberances. Advantages, you'll have fewer enemy climbing your wall. Also, you can build both higher and steeper. Disadvantages, slower to build and more expensive. And you may or may not require drainage ports. This example here is from Tsuyama Castle. Again, I want you to watch for more examples in Fukuyama Castle. Finally, Kirikomihagi, 
which I translate trimmed joint. Trimmed joint. And you can see the high degree of skill that goes into this. Advantages. No one's going to be climbing your wall. No ninjas. No meddling kids. No teenage boys. Disadvantages. This is crazy expensive and slow. And it absolutely requires drainage ports. A lot of them. And this is the weakest wall in an earthquake. These stones have nowhere to go, so they all clatter against each other and help each other to smash each other. Building whole walls in this style is really unnecessary, and you see it done as a status symbol. It screams wealth and power. Thorstein Veblen can explain it better than I can. These photos are from Edo Castle, but here is one from the ruins of our own Tomonora Castle. Again, please watch for examples in Fukuyama Castle. Okay, that's three types of stone wall according to degree of stone processing. I'm going to give you only one classification according to appearance. This is, a, this is the last one, and this is unique to corners. It's called Sangizumi, or counting rods, where you are alternately stacking the long and short sides of rectangular blocks. And this makes for very strong corners. So please watch for that. This example here is from Nagoya Castle, and I will ask you, what kind of wall is this? Is it Nozurazumi, Uchikomihagi, or Kirikomihagi? What are the two types shown here in this photo? You should now be able to answer. All right, you've been good students. Your reward is going to be a field trip to Fukuyama Castle. That'll be, I think, the next video. The more we know about Japanese castle walls, the more informed we will be as we look for that lost 1,300-year-old castle. I hope that's the idea. Okay, there is a lady... There is a certain lady who lives somewhere near us, and she takes the same road downtown at about the same time of morning, so we see her sometimes, maybe, maybe two or three times a week. And we call her Beautiful Sweater Lady on account of she is beautiful and she wears sweaters, beautiful sweaters specifically cardigans. She always smiles at my little daughter, your camera girl clerk, and of course that's a that's a really good way to get on my good side. Be kind and friendly to my daughters. And being a beautiful lady helps too. One morning last summer we find beautiful sweater lady broken down on the side of the road her chain had come off. We stopped, and I got her chain back on again. Now that got us on friendly speaking terms, but we still didn't share our names. Well, yesterday morning, she caught up to us. Pumping her legs on her bicycle, she caught up to us. She'd seen me in Keizai report. That's the newsletter magazine that took our story on the megalith that we found on Mount Zhao, the time machine, New Year telling megalith. She had some questions about it, so we talked for a bit. 
and then it's it's morning you're busy we got to go and that was that i thought mailbag last night i got an email from her she writes good evening honorable mr kyle i see you in the morning when you commute by bicycle you helped me with my slipped bicycle chain thank you again today i asked you about your article but i forgot to say my name and uh, she tells me her name I'll, I'll just keep calling her beautiful sweater lady i want to apologize because i cannot talk much in the morning but i want to talk with you more mount zhao is in back of my parents house i have climbed it many times since i was a little girl but i never noticed the stone pointing in the direction as an artificial object it is amazing to me that you noticed it i still climb the mountain with my mother so i will try to find it next time i hope someday we can climb mount zhao together i will write down my contact information and then she tells me her phone number well this is wonderful I wrote back about the lost Ibaraki castle lost for 1300 years which we think was on Mount Zhao maybe beautiful sweater lady knows something about it or maybe her mother knows something and I offered to guide these ladies up to our stone and let's hope that one day someone will email us maybe someone who grew up around mount heba maybe someone's mom or dad or grandma or grandpa has some more information about the heba gun maybe they're ready to share maybe photos who knows but maybe someone is sitting on it right now just trying to work up the courage to write an email to this quirky old foreigner varmint hunter well welcome to team hebegon beautiful sweater lady and your mom we're happy to have you there was no campfire last night because it rained all day and all night too it's a beautiful day today and we're coming up next to our little walk about around Fukuyama Castle okay you have a wonderful weekend and I love you bye bye